What up, Mugman Nation? Hotline Ching back with another banger. I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. I know I did. Hey, I'm thankful for the Mugman Nation. What can I say? I love you guys. Hey, hit that subscribe button for me. Let's try and hit 10K by the end of the year. Hopefully, we'll hit. I'm at 8K right now. Big money. Let's get it. Today, we will be beating the Cuphead DLC using the Cursed Relic. Still on Expert. That will never change. I only do these challenges on Expert, okay? Not much else to say here. Let's jump right in Nation. starting off strong with glumstone the giant i thought i could use crack shot to cheese my way through this boss like you know use crack shot it hits the gnomes it hits glumstone himself it seems like the perfect weapon right sadly this was not the case because of this attack right here the geese were the bane of my existence like i speed run this game i fought glumstone the giant countless times but for some reason i was just getting destroyed by the geese attack and if it wasn't the geese it was the gnomes and it was just like a huge loop it was insanely frustrating and my hatred for the geese got bigger and bigger with every single run and you know they weren't the geese weren't the only problem these stupid gnomes were destroying me where am i supposed to go where am i supposed to go what was the right what was the right choice right there with the cat and the attack i was stuck in glumstone the giant hell and my only escape was beating this boss i'm right in front of him how did the lobber not hit him i don't get it However, it just seemed like nothing was going my way. I would get hit by the geese. I'm tired of the geese! I'm tired of the geese! Stop calling the geese in, man! If it wasn't the geese, I'd get hit by the gnomes. There was no escape. What? On top of that, the curse relic allows you to get a few extra hearts because you have the parody ring, and the only thing I could parry was the potion attack. You only get like one or two parries every time. You need three to get your first heart. I was getting owned so hard, I had to get off and take a break and just think about my life. Why am I playing this game? Why am I doing this challenge? Am I really good at Cuphead? Glumstone was having your man existential, but we, we needed to keep going. You know, I needed to get this video done. I need to beat this challenge. And I knew if I was able to get through the first phase, phase two and phase three wouldn't be that bad. Eventually, I managed to clutch out the first phase, and then sadly, the second phase didn't go so well. Come on, I couldn't even see it. Let's troll, let's troll. But luckily, I was able to, it took me like two hours just to get through that first phase. I, I couldn't tell you why. It was just a bad day for me. But I got to the second phase and I beat the second phase, my second try. And then the final phase, I was able to clutch out on my first try. Don't ask me about Glumstone the Giant. I hate Glumstone the Giant. If you talk about Glumps from the Giant in my comments, I'll ban you. I'll block you. I'll, I'll, don't talk to me about Glumps from the Giant, okay? Don't come up and talk to me about him. I hate him. I hate, I hate Glumps from the Giant, and I hate the geese. Let's go. Man, that took way too long. That took, like, that took way longer than I expected it to be. I hate you, Glumps, and I hate you. Mortimer Freeze is up next. Mortimer Freeze? More like Mortimer Free. <laughs> Just kidding. I suck today. God, dude. I don't know what my problem was. I don't know why I was getting hit. I kept being hit by those little minions he would send ah. out. Those are probably one of the easiest things to dodge. Those stupid little icicle guys were just binking me nonstop. And I, I couldn't tell you why. I was losing my mind at this challenge, man. I wasn't having a good time at all. How do I play this game? Why? It's, it's a guy with a mug for a head fighting a stupid wizard. And I'm using a cursed relic that gives me a random weapon. I only have one health. Why am I doing this? What am I doing with my life, man? Ah! When I made it to the second phase, finally, I was like, this is it. I can hit this second second phase first try. But I tell you what, I was getting schmixed by this guy. He was sending off the ice cubes. And then he would do the rolly attack. And I would just get trapped. Oh, my God, dude. The ice cube plus rolly combo is so deadly when you only have one health. Popsicle! I was crumbling, and I tell you what, I was about to quit. But, hey, you know what? Your boy would never quit. I got to keep it pushing. I just kept dodging. And, you know, that's apparently that's all I had to do because apparently I made it through the first phase. I think the best weapon for this boss was the roundabout because, as I said in my last video, when in doubt, roundabout it out. Or if someone else suggested when in doubt, roundabout, whichever you guys prefer. I think they both sound pretty good. Maybe roundabout's better. But, hey, you know what? Wh whichever you guys want to do, you can use that. I knew if I made it to the third phase, I would be able to get it on my first try and check this out right here guys check it out oh my god what a choke all right well maybe it wasn't my first try but alas we keep going i made it to the second phase or third phase again my bad but the eyeball attack got me 
No, the eyeball. You know, it happens. And, but hey, third time's a charm, right? I got to the final phase a third time, and this time I'm able to clutch it out. Uh, kind of annoying phase. I couldn't tell you why. This boss fight isn't that bad. It's just like I became by those little ice school minions. But hey, we did it. Let's go, finally. That took way too long. I hate Mortimer Freeze. I never want to fight the boss again. My favorite boss of the DLC because I never get tired of seeing my girl Woof Woof. What up, dog? Ha ha ha. I actually gotta take a break from Mortimer Freeze and hit up the Howling Aces because nah, Mortimer Freeze is making me so mad. But hey, I did Howling Aces on like my second try, I think. So I won't be spending a lot of time on this boss, even though it is my favorite. I breezed through the first phase, mostly using roundabout and whatever weapon I wanted. Honestly, any weapon really works for this first stage. I got a lot of parries out because of the bones so i was able to stack a little bit of health going to the second phase which made this game which made this level a lot easier just having the extra health the second phase comes around and i'm just beating up these dogs with the roundabout and i love this phase it's very satisfying you can take all these dogs out really fast like twist up or roundabout and just in like succession it, it's a feels good maybe we take away all of them really quick and also a lot of parries get your hp up again in the third phase you know pretty easy there isn't really a must use weapon for this i just use whatever i get and i just keep firing at you know at my girl pilot Suzuki, I think that's her name, uh, or Pilot Saluki. I think one of the two, but uh, that very easy boss. One of my favorite from the DLC. I'm sorry, I had to, I'm sorry, I had to kill you, Pilot Saluki. I love you. Please, please forgive me. Let's go! Finally, I beat a boss. Like two hours, man. Esther Winchester, let's go. Plane boss time. You guys already know from the first video. I think the cursed relic is pretty goaded for plane bosses, so I'm I'm hitting Esther Winchester first try here. Not not, not I don't need to go into depth like I did with the other bosses because there's not not a lot of fails or anything like that. You know the first phase is simple, simple. Second phase, simple. Like, I'm just gonna let it let the bombs go, dodge the saves. I don't know. Like, there's some of these bosses where I go into it. I need to explain a lot, but I feel like for Esther Winchester, there is there isn't much to explain. You know, just just keep using your pea shooter, dodge and use your bombs when you can. It's pretty straightforward. I think the first phase is probably the hardest phase of Esther Winchester. But hey, you know, it's a hard boss for some, easy for others. Some people have their bosses. I think this is one of the bosses. You know, I'm better. I'm really good at dodging those wieners. You know, every time she tries to shoot her meat at me, I'm always I'm always getting out of the way like no i don't i don't want like that meat you know i, I ain't about that meat life but uh, you know it's all good i respect people who are uh and then more more just firing the pea shooter you know just don't want the meat in my face and we, we take out esther winchester easy peasy hey simple right simple let's go hey that was probably the easiest boss yeah but i mean it's a plane boss i don't know what else to say i don't know what else to expect you know moonshine mob time let's do this it's crazy that the first two bosses i did were insanely hard it took me like probably like four hours to do mortimer freeze and uh glumps on the giant i don't know why i've been breezing through these last few bosses i think i deserve it i think i'm just more warmed up i own the spider real quick gets destroyed blows up and then i move on to the big booty bug girl i'm still not sure what kind of bug she is but it's okay because she got a she got the fatty on her you know i I, I love this boss. I, I take her down, dodging the sound wave, using whatever weapon I can. I like the roundabout in the lava for these phases, Um, but in, any weapon was pretty good for this boss, in my opinion. During the third phase, I actually really enjoyed convergence because you could aim it at the nose and it all converges together. I never really put two and two together. That when you hold the aim button, it converges together. Pretty sick. This used to be my most hated phase of the DLC, but I've been learning it and liking it more and more and more. It's one of my, it's one of my favorite phases, not counting uh, Howling Aces. And of course, I don't fall for this fake knockout and then i take out the snail guy and then moonshine mobs down all that's left is my arch nemesis chef salt baker. okay easy money that wasn't that bad the first few boss really hard but the, the final two weren't that bad that was pretty good that's pretty good now usually chef salt baker is my arch nemesis every challenge i do i feel like i have so much trouble with chef salt baker on the dlc but guys look at the length of this video and guess how many tries this took me go in the comments right now and just guess how many tries Chef Salt Baker took with the Cursed Relic, all right? Uh, I'm just gonna start off by saying the Cursed Relic is goaded for Chef Salt Baker. You have a big repository of weapons at your disposal. Like, like the spreader was so good for taking out those animal crackers. And then you can use your pea shooter to shoot his head and stuff. And then you go into the second phase. I have crack shot. I have tracer. I have roundabout. I have so many tools at my disposal to take out each and every single one of these salt shakers. Obviously, like with the lobber only and stuff like that and the twist up only, it's a little 
harder because I don't have as many options. You know, with the Cursed Relic, and even though I can only get hit once, there's a lot of stuff you can parry. Which, so, you, so you're going to get your health juice a little bit by the parody ring. You're going to be using a lot of weapons to take down these Salt Shakers. And it made Phase 2 probably so easy with the Cursed Relic. Guys, I think you should use the Cursed Relic for Chef Salt Baker. And then we're going to the third phase. This phase isn't too hard. There's not much to say. You just use whatever weapon you want and shoot the little dancing, dancing like pillars of salt. And then we're going into the final stage. Do I have Chef Salt Baker on my first try? Let's find out. I'm going to use my crack shot. I'm cracked out of my mind. I'm switching weapons. Mainly just using crack shot for this. Got to move around a lot. Let's see what happens, guys. Please, Perry! That was the closest first try of my life. Are you kidding me? Hey, sadly, I missed that parry, so I ended up not getting it my first try. But, hey, if you guess two tries, you are correct. I did do this in two tries. Way better than any of other of my challenges before. I did it. I'm pretty proud of this run, guys. Let's go. Dude, why was Chef Salt figure the easiest part of this challenge? I don't get it. That was so easy. I did, like, two tries, three tries, maybe. Let's go, baby. Let's go. And we're done just like that. That took way too long. That took way longer than the base game. Why that take so long? I hate this game. I hate the curse block. I'm never using this weapon again. Thank goodness that's over. Thank you, everyone. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Hey, and that's it for the Cursed Relic Run. Thanks for watching, everyone. Shout out to Mugman Nation. Shout out to the subscribers. I love you all. Let's hit 10K by the end of the year. Mugman, Mugman Nation. Mugman, Mugman Nation. Mugman Nation. Mugman, Mugman Nation.